It depends if you tell it right. There is no way not to tell this right. It is a storyteller's wet dream. What? Right. Get ready for okay, this. Okay, just in time. I'm gonna start at the beginning, okay? Okay. So, three years ago, right, we have this girl here named Liza Green. She's 17, older than everybody else on the unit at the time. And I don't mean this in a pervy way or anything, but she's real pretty. Mm -hmm. She was gorgeous. All the guys on the unit want her, but she won't give any of them the time of the day because she was busy. She was always studying. She was very smart. Mm -hmm. Really smart. Mm -hmm. So two weeks before she turns 18 and leaves, we get this new intake. This 15-year-old guy. He's really tough. He's really quiet, but he's cool. He's just kind of like kicking back, checking out the scene. And I swear, I didn't hear him say a word the whole first week he was here. But then one day, we were doing a community meeting, and we asked for announcements, and this guy raises his hand and he looks directly at Liza Green, and he says, I know you don't know me, and I just got here, but I just want to say that I've been watching you. I think you're the most interesting thing about this place, and I'm really sad I'm not going to get to know you before you leave. I just wanted to tell you that. What a pimp. What'd she say? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, it was so <laughs> It awkward. got so fucking awkward I couldn't stand so it. Awkward. And then she left, never talked to him, and the kids teased him for like a year about oh. it. Ah, uh, that blows. No, he didn't give a shit. No, didn't even face him. It was like he knew something everybody else didn't. Who is this guy? That was Marcus. What? I never heard this story. Oh, wait, it gets so much better. Yeah, yeah, so check this out. Grace and I are getting coffee at Ronnie's this morning, and we walk in, and who do we see sitting there alone at a table? Marcus. How's he doing? Oh, He looks great. He's so good. Button up shirt, he's <laughs> sipping on a cappuccino. <laughs> Marcus drinks cappuccino. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah, I Apparently guess so, no, right? He does. So we're talking to him and we're catching up and he's telling us about his new job at the aquarium and how much he takes home in tips and how he's gonna start applying for classes oh next my semester. God. Yeah. And it's weird because I'm like, I have not heard Marcus talk this much ever since I met him. Like, <laughs> what is the deal? Is he excited to see us? Is he nervous about something? And that's when I notice. There's another cappuccino on the table and an empty chair next to him. Mm -hmm. And then just like in the fucking movies, bathroom door flings open, out walks Liza Green. They were on a date? It was like their fifth one. Yeah. Okay. And as soon, oh! as, soon, as soon as she sits down, dude just goes beat red. Oh. So embarrassed. Oh, <laughs> so Oh, it was so fucking cute. Oh, I almost pissed Jess. my pants. Oh, Jess, they look so happy together. So happy. And they're just... Here we go. 